Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, so we are going to discuss how to implement a stack using single linked list concept. Right? In our last sessions, we discussed very clearly about all the single linked list operations. Right? So now based on so those operations and with the help of that knowledge, in this session we are going to implement a stack using single linked list. Heading is stack implementation using single linked list using single linked list. Sir, how to implement? Right? Here it is linked list means what? We are storing the information in the form of nodes and uh, we need to follow the stack rules and we need to implement using single linked list nodes. So, what are the rules we need to follow in the implementation of a stack? A simple rule that is last in first out and all the operations we should perform. So, with the help of a top variable only with the help of top variable. Sir, how to insert sir? How to insert the elements? See, observe. Suppose this is insertion of elements or more technically push elements onto the stack push elements onto the stack generally how we will write a linked list sequentially sequentially is the first node is a second node it is a third node and so on all the nodes are connected with the links for example, first node address is a 1000, data is a 10, next node address is a 2000 that will be stored here, data is 20, next node address is a 3000 that will be stored here 30 and last node is a null, last node is a null and of course, root variable, root variable is holding 1000, 1000 but now we just want to convert this linear nodes nothing but uh, so linear memory allocation right linear list we are converting into last in first out just we are writing in the form of a stack in the form of stack we are writing initially top is pointing to null so top value top value initially pointing to null that means what no nodes in the single linked list no nodes in the single linked list now i want to insert a node suppose here i am inserting a node inserting a node node observe very clearly node data is a 10 and next uh, this is a link value na sir inside the link value what we have to store means uh, top value we have to store first node address somewhere 1000 what is the top value is a null value null value we need to store we need to store into the link nothing but null we are storing here null and next one the newly created node address 1000 we are storing into here 1000 so, top is pointing to the first node. Suppose if you create the second node, second node 2000 just consider. Now, after reading the data, 1000 will be stored into this location, 1000. 1000 means what is the top? Na? Top value will be stored here, 1000, so that it is connected to here. And next in the top, you need to store 2000 then it stop pointing and it is start pointing next we are creating one more node suppose 3000 here it is a 30 now 2000 we should store here so 2000 means what is the top value 2000 so that it is pointing to this one into the top we have to store 3000 it is pointing to this one very simple in this case so, first node is connected to second node, second node is connected to third node. Here, 
third node is connected to second node, second node is connected to first node. Like that you have to implement just like a stack. The reason stack is nothing but last in first out. So, all the operations you should perform with the help of a top variable. This is simply insertion. Now, clearly I will explain okay, how to create the node, right? how to insert the elements, nothing but how to push the elements onto the stack, how to pop the elements right? and how to traverse all the elements. Okay, see. So, first of all, node structure. Right? While implementing a stack using single linked list, right node will be just like in a single linked list only in a single linked list how we are creating the node struct struct node so it has two fields so one is a data field data field is a simply we are taking integer type integer type and what is that next one link so what is the link type we know that is a node type because mm. the link is always pointing to the next node so, next node is a pointer variable is of type node type. So, this is this is a declaration of a structure, it is a node type. And here we are declaring one variable struct node, all the operations in the stack we should perform with the help of a top variable. Now, top variable is a pointer variable and what is the initial value null value. Of course, generally we are declaring this variable as a global variable only. We know that according to our knowledge, global variable pointer va value default value is a null, right. So, if you want to show very clearly explicitly, then you can specify here it is null, okay. So, this is just a node declaration definition of a node and uh, how to create a, a pointer variable starting variable equals to root variable in a linked list. Okay. So, top gets memory allocation at some location and it is initializes with a null, initializes with a null. So, this is a node structure. After creating the node, then how to insert the elements, right? So, in the form of a stack, so that, so programmatically I will show you, okay, see. So, for example, here it is, method name is a push method, push method. For example, what element they want to insert that if they provide, they can provide here while calling. But here it is directly I am taking, I am taking. So, first one I am declaring one local variable. We know that all the operations we should perform with the help of a temporary variable only. So, local variable temp variable we are creating, temp gets memory allocation at some location. Just consider uh, stack also, I am writing clearly stack last in first out stack we are writing and now here it is in a struct node star temp, right temp gets memory allocation. Now we need to create a node, how to create we know that concept is a ml lock, what we have to pass? size of node size we need to pass struct node struct node and that we are collecting into temp but directly we cannot so what is required simply pointer casting is required struct node star struct node star a pointer casting is required a size of struct node so, then it creates a node inside the stack somewhere just we are writing inside the stack. Suppose node address is a 1000 consider the 1000 we are collecting into temp variable temp after that we have to read the information of this one we need to read. So, he, suppose here we are asking printf enter node data enter node data and we are reading percentage d percentage d so now how to read the information observe here address of temp2 data already we know this 
address of temp2 data. So, we are storing. So, temp value is a 1000, 1002 data address. Suppose if they enter 10 consider, temp value is a 1000, 1000 is pointing to this node. In this node, suppose is a data consider, it is a location link. Here we are collecting that value 10, right. So, it is pointing anyway, temporary pointer. But now, we need to store top value. What is the top value? Null value. Top value we should store into this location. Who is pointing temporarily? Temp is pointing. Na? Now, into this location, I want to store a top value. What is the top value? Null. Any value. Top value I want to store into this location. Temp to link. So, top value we are storing into temp2 link. So, top value is a null, that null value will be stored here, null value. And next, and next one. So, top previously it is not pointing to any node, now it has to pointing to first node, because previously no nodes in the stack, but now nodes are there. Na? So, first node already created. So, top always should pointing to the newly created node. Newly created node is a null node. Here, null placed with a 1000. So, it should pointing to this one. It should pointing. So, here it is into the top, we have to store 1000. 1000 means what is a temp? Na? So, simply into the top, we are storing the temp value. This is simply how to push the element onto the stack using single linked list concept. Sir, suppose if they are calling second time, <coughs> how to call? Again, they call push method. So, once the control come out of that, temp variable will be deleted. Na? See, just consider this temp variable will be deleted temp variable, it is not pointing, only top is pointing to this node, consider. And next one, second time they are calling push function once again, second time. Then again temp variable will be created, temp variable, a local variable will be created. Next uh, node creation, here it is, inside the stack somewhere we are creating the node, suppose 2000 that we are collecting into temp. Now, it is temporarily pointing to this node. And next one, enter node data that we are reading into address of temp2 data. Address of temp2 data is a 2000 into that location 20. And next, now top value is what is a 1000. Na? You are creating second node. Now, second node should connect it to the first node. Because observe stack means a last in first out. So, last node is connected to last but one node. Eighth node will be connected to seventh node. Seventh node will be connected to sixth node. Second node will be connected to first node. So, second node here in this location, we need to store first node address 1000 so that we can establish a connection like this. So, 1000, 1000 means what is a top value now? So, top value will be stored into temp2 link 1000, 1000. See, top value, top value is a 1000 will be stored into temp2 link stored. Next, temp value will be stored into top. Why? Because a top variable always should pointing to a newly created node, last node. So, temp value 2000 will be stored into the top then it stop pointing and it start pointing to the newly created node that is next automatically temp variable will be deleted after execution so we lost this connection temporary connection how many times they are calling no matter suppose third insertion will be like this third insertion 30 3000 suppose temp variable initially pointing to that one, temp value is a 3000, is a temporary connection and next 2000, top value we are storing into temp2 link, 
that is 2000 will be stored here is a connection and next one 3000 will be stored into top 3000 then it stop pointing and it is start pointing to the newly created node how many nodes we are creating no matter always last node is connected to last but one node from last to first all the nodes will be connected top should pointing to the newly created node that is a last node so this is how we are inserting the elements into a single linked list i mean nothing but into the stack using a single linked list okay that is and how to pop the elements and how to display the elements okay so that we'll see in the next session okay so for more videos please log into narayshati channel thank you